Now, one of the major challenges for legal education is developing that new breed or next generation of lawyers that can function best in this new world. It is a small world after all, and the world is getting even smaller. Technology and the inexorable drive for self-improvement is breaking down borders, and human, social, and political, and economic interaction is all becoming borderless, and markets are becoming uh, fused, so that soon we may see that reality of a global market for many products and services, and regional markets for many, many more products and services. And to be able to interpret all of these new sets of rules, we need this new breed of lawyers. Now to train this new set of lawyers means that we have to break out of the usual confines of training on national laws and focusing on substantial understanding of law and now bringing them to a higher level of really becoming professionals that can move from place to place around the world to provide advice and to give uh, that needed legal support uh, at a time that the world is changing at a very fast pace. This means that the curriculum for law schools should include not just the traditional subjects, but subjects that are, uh, I guess, imbued also with that aspect, understanding the bigger picture. So you'd have to get a good understanding of the new supranational rules for different areas of law. You have to look at international agreements, regional agreements, and the mutual recognition agreements and rules for harmonizing different national laws. We'd have to understand conflict of laws or private international law in a bigger light. And on top of this, we would have to actually train our new lawyers in becoming multidisciplinary and multicultural so that you could understand this bigger world that we live in and try to uh, help in this process of integration of greater understanding human interaction and uh, promoting peace and harmony in the world.